Okay, we're ready. We're, we're ready to go. What's our intro? I don't know. The ginger and puma. The ginger and puma show. show. <laughs> um. Well, a lot of things being said on YouTube lately, and we've mostly stayed silent. I know we've been really busy though with like traveling and doing the family thing so it's been kind of hectic for us and thanksgiving's tomorrow happy I know. thanksgiving happy everybody thanksgiving. uh my mom told me if i do a podcast tonight to make sure that i let my subscribers know that she's grateful for donald trump even though i was like <laughs> mom are you trying to get me hated <laughs> Are you, are you trying to but get me Donald trolled, Trump Mama? did something good this week. He made cruelty to animals a federal crime. Yay! So he did do that. And he, sta he stands with the Hong Kong protesters. He did a bill about that today, too. So he's done some good. Oof. Yeah, a lot of things have been... I've jumped around and heard a few different things and heard some things about myself. I'm like, I didn't say that. <laughs> I know. Somebody was looking at the wrong spots and accusing me of saying stuff. I was like, What? Oh my gosh. So, for my subscribers that don't know, you know, it, it's been a, a known thing that um, I haven't liked Angry Tina the Neighbor for the three years that I've been on YouTube. Like, not shocked. But what I can tell you guys is this. You know, I've never said bad words about her family members. I've never said bad words about her son, her father. I've never called her trailer park. I've never called her doctor's office. You know, did I give Isaac some information? Yeah, I did. I gave him the same information that Ray Ray the Rebel put out in a video and that, you know, Bree Bunny tried to put into the universe. But, you know, there's this pattern with that cult over there where they like to... Um, character assassinate people like especially when they leave and I feel like for the last three years most of the things that I've been upset about is standing up for these people that want to leave boss up and it just is kind of ironic to me that I stand up for these people and they come to me and they're like I I hate that she scams people and I hate that I said all these bad words to people and I hate that I've destroyed lives but they run right back over there and scam people, lie, destroy lives, destroy, mentally break people down. Yeah, so what they did to Bree was, I mean, they tried. I mean, they... and you know, I um, I've gotten to a point lately where I'm just at my wits' end, and it's just been a long time coming. Like I've tried to make truces with Tune in the past. Actually, I'm going to call her name. I'm going to call her Tina. You know, let me say this. The only reason why I ever started calling Tina Tuna in the first place is because I got accused of it so many times. Yeah. And about three years ago, like, my shitty autocorrect would autocorrect Tina to Tuna. <laughs> and I wouldn't even be meaning to put that. It would just autocorrect to that, right? Did your, did your phone do the same? I think mine has tried to do it. Yeah. yeah so... I mean, it is what it is. Mine now gives me the option either or. We've been trying to move along with our lives and, you know, but we still get the screenshots. We still get the, you know, the DMs in the middle of the night or the voice recordings or the live stream recordings. Yeah, I don't think I've actually watched a live stream in a minute. I've been watching videos. Right. Me and you have been watching Rich Lux and Jeffree Star and... I know. Gabby Hanna. <laughs> I watched a Repzilla video earlier. I mean, I'm just... I'm still on YouTube. I'm still doing my thing. And I'm still on Twitter. Yeah, but he <laughs> is not... Um, you will never see me hashtag certain things. Mine's 800 get triggered. That's my Twitter. Yeah. Uh, you will never <laughs> see Redneck and I hashtag guest mom. Like, we are the anti-group. We, we might rub elbows with people, but we are not affiliated with any cult, any group, any gang, any institution. We've said this forever. Institution, Just because any... I'm friends with this person doesn't mean I can't go in this chat and say this over here. And as long as we're not, I'm not bashing you, you know. Exactly. So, I mean, it's come to my attention because these people are really trying to break me down mentally and, and just really bully me, to be honest. And it's getting... Um, Especially when we're silent. The last video on your channel was a McKamey Manor video. I know, which, you and know... we haven't done... Nothing, we haven't said anything on Twitter. How so many views did I get for that? Like, over 20,000? Yeah, I think you got 20,000 on yours. 
but yeah, but we're not over here talking shit on this channel. We're not on panels. We're not in chats. We're not on Twitter saying stuff. We're tweeting stuff, but we're, we're not, not calling talking about people. This stuff. We're not calling you Kickstan. We're not calling you Angie. We are not calling you people. Yeah, no matter who says they called, you never see a screenshot of proving it. So I want to know what these <laughs> times are. Like, prove the proof. Like, put up or shut up. You know, show me these calls. Show me when I'm supposed to be calling you. But like but, I said, you'll never see a screenshot proving any of it. Ever. <laughs> so I had an interesting conversation with Tina the other day. And I iterated, reiterated to her a million times like, Tina, your people lied to you to fire you up to get you to bully other people. Mm hmm and she's all up in her feelings and she kept saying, well, you know, Redneck's talking crap on me on Twitter and he's saying all these awful things. And finally she- I even went she, and double checked my Twitter to see what could be, if it could be confused where I said anything. I'm like, did I right. say something? So we get the screenshots <coughs> and I'm like, oh my fucking God, it's not his Twitter. It's, it's not, not my Twitter. his Twitter. It's not even my Twitter at all. It's the Bionic right. Redneck. But I feel like <laughs> other people knew that that wasn't And nothing your against Twitter. Bionic Redneck, you're cool. But somebody confused me for Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> That's the Bionic Redneck. Just saying. I just feel like um, some people know what your Twitter is. And I feel like that was, and you know, right after this, th that this bomb got dropped to her where she knew that it wasn't your Twitter, um, she blocked the person that I was communicating with because she was you weren't so communicating mad. Directly. You were communicating through somebody through else. A mutual f person that used to be friends with her. And once she found out that that was not his Twitter, it was like she went to the blocking. Yeah. Because she was so mad because everything I'm saying is, is correct. But there are some people out there who would have known that that wasn't my Twitter. There's a few people out there, and I'm not going to name no names, and I don't want to name no names. There's a few people in the camp that would know, no, that's not him. You know, they would have seen those screenshots, and they should have told Tuna that. You know what <laughs> makes me really sad, baby? Um, the assassination of me being attacked and my PTSD and I have a hard time struggling with it. I mean, I had to basically send Tina proof that I do suffer from PTSD and I've had to send out proof that I was attacked. Yeah. And you know, to me, these are things like I really relate to Nora because there was a point in time where, you know, she was concerned whether or not BBY would, you know, tell her story and she had to go tell her own story, yeah. you know, so that way it kind of took the power away. I mean, they are making fun of every horrible thing that I've ever went through in life. And, and a person, if, if Tina, you they're struggle making fun from of your, PTSD. What went through in your life, whether it was true or not. There's, there's, yeah, some's there's, true, some ain't true. So I'm some not going to And the here. same with mine. There's some mixes and there's some old info from years ago that's not actually present. For same well, you, that's not true today as it was two to three to four years ago. Is some it different? of those Jeff Carnleys don't have your birthday. <laughs> My <laughs> Just birthday. Just saying. <laughs> you know, but whatever. I mean, we're not here to sit here and debate. Um, what's true and what's not true like I don't like responding to stupidity But what I do feel like I owe a response to is having like my PTSD and what I've been through dragged through the mud Because I feel like if this person if Tina if you suffer from PTSD I don't see how in the hell you can do that through another person because th the way PTSD is like this Okay, when you guys are bringing up the fact that I was attacked and all these things, I'm reliving that. It is crushing my spirit. It is hurting my heart. It is keeping me trapped inside my house where I'm fearful to go anywhere. It is making me relive the most horrible things that have ever happened to me. It is making me relive that. Yeah, I've seen this happen. I mean, when you get in those modes, it's, it's hard. You know, and you can't be talked out of it. I can't sit there and go, no, it's okay. There's no logic. There's no... You know, sometimes just being there for you and supporting you when you have PTSD, you got to. There, there's a fine line you got to ride. I just don't understand how somebody could want to hurt somebody on that kind of well, level. Well, there's been, I've started a few people, including um, whoever said they had PTSD as well. I mean, I've heard them say it. Well, Tina has said she had PTSD, I, and I that's why I'm like. I swore I heard like, her say that. Yeah, because she said that she was, you know, in a physically abusive relationship. 
And I would never want to belittle that, make fun of that, um, bring that up because as a PTSD survivor, I know that if you're bringing that up, it is making that person relive that trauma, you know, and honestly, um, I honestly think that there's people that are using Tina's platform for their own agenda to hurt me. And I've been hurt enough in life. I don't need to be continuously hurt. And I want to kind of appeal to the listeners over there. Like, if you guys hear the, the, the bashing that's happened to me... And you see that they're dragging me every day. If you don't think that that won't be you one day, you're, oh, you're yeah. completely wrong. I've seen it happen so many times. So many times. She has flipped on her own people. She, you know, <coughs> she, and, and if you guys think that, you know, Angie is trustable. This is the same person that came over to me and MER and said, Tina's a scammer. Tina's a piece of shit. I'm going to embarrass her. I'm going to do all these things to her. And, you know, felt justified and, and apologized to all of us for saying she was going to kill any our dogs and you know she she said some horrible shit you know and this is the same person that apologized and acknowledged that all these things were wrong and where's she at and what she what is she doing now <laughs> exactly yeah. I mean there's no words for it let it speak for itself here's the way I, I've made up this little analogy let's say we got we're on Sesame Street and Oscar the Grouch is talking smack him and Big Bird ain't friends no more. Well, he lies about Big Bird. Well, I know Big Bird. I know he lied about Big Bird. Let's say Mr. Snuffleupagus is not friends <laughs> with him no more either. And he lies about Mr. Snuffleupagus. I said, well, I know he's lying about Mr. Snuffleupagus because I know Mr. Snuffleupagus. Now, let's say I don't know Mr. Count Dracula over there or the Count. And he said some lies about Count. Well, I'm not going to believe anything Oscar has said because everything he said about me, Big Bird, and Snuffleupagus has all been lies. I so I know that's going to be a lie too. I think some people feel like they have to have a place to belong and they will sit there and gang up and bully people. I mean, my biggest problem with Tina is that she's not really being attacked, y'all. Her family's not being attacked. The CPS calls aren't true. You know, she lies to she you guys. She back and forth lies on it, yes, too. Yes, and she, she lies to you guys so you guys will go bully other people for content. Like that video from two years ago I showed you. Yes. And, no, and that guy said exactly the same and thing. They all ganged up on that dude. They all <laughs> did. I mean, here's the thing. Has Tina ever had any other content? I mean, really, if you're a Tina supporter and you're listening to me right now, what <coughs> has Tina's content ever been besides bullying people? Talking smack. You know, and um, like uh, like my channel, you go to my regular channel, no matter what you say about me, it doesn't, I'm not going to make a video responding to you or saying this and that, because I'm going to do my own thing, whether or not, whatever, no matter what you say, you know, that's how I'm going to, that's how I run my channel, that's just how it is. You right, know? well, I mean, a lot of these people think that she's been bullied by Isaac, but you reap what you sow. I mean, you've come for other people's families. You've you've said shit about their children. I got a, I got a crazy question. If she's got a line full of shoes from a shoebox thing that she gets every month, why she got them? She's gonna get a foot amputated. You can't use all them shoes with amputated foot. <laughs> yeah. She, what did she say that she gets just fab? That's the shoe um, subscription box. It's like forty dollars a month. And she has all these shoes lined up in her house. But she, she can't said. afford the orthopedic shoes. And she gets the pet food one too for her dog. I don't know. I mean, you know, it But be, I'm just wondering where the shoe, how these shoes are going to go to waste, man. I mean, right? I mean, if stop if getting the shoe subscription box and get your orthopedic shoes that you need that's going to make you not lose your foot. Yeah. And kickstand, I am not calling you. I am not messaging you. I don't want to keep like look, you know a lot of stuff about me. You've said a lot of stuff about me. I know a lot of stuff about you too, honey, and I have not 
rolled around in the dumpster or the mud with you guys like when does it end like what is your end goal like to hospitalize me to you ain't, you ain't been on youtube you ain't been on hardly on twitter saying nothing so, i know I mean... either they're trying to push me to be suicidal you know they're bringing up every horrible thing that's ever happened to me in my life and it's being talked about whether or not it's true or not whether yeah. or not it's even true but it's like making me have flashbacks of the trauma that i've been through like i'm a survivor and i'm not embarrassed about that but just leave me alone like leave me alone i'm not calling you i'm not a threat to you you're just being like heartless and mean Okay, if you think there's an award for being the biggest cunt on YouTube, well, you're in the net with Ray Ray. She's going to win that award. But Angie, you could probably, you know, there is no award for that. Kickstand, there is no award for being the most, most ruthless, meanest motherfucker in life. You know, like just if you're happy with Angie, you guys go be happy. Make babies, get married, do your thing. But to sit there and like make me relive traumas that have happened to me it's just wrong and no matter what's been done we're still here yeah i'm still ain't, here ain't nobody ran away ain't nobody scared i've just been busy like we've been traveling we've been doing the family thing you know and i had to take a break like i don't need to hear my name drug through the mud every single day um, because you guys think there's some kind of award you're going to win for being the meanest motherfucker on YouTube. You know, I mean, Angie, like, you know, step your game up, girl. You say you're not insecure, but your actions show that you are the most insecure person in life. You know, just do your thing, girl. Like, talk about stuff. Uh, go for a cause. Talk about, you know, whatever you want to. But, like, to sit there and bully somebody else and make fun of their mental disorders and make fun of their traumas. I mean, what are you gonna win in life that you are the biggest cunt? I mean, congratulations, like you win, okay? Like I'm not competing with you. Like just stop, I am not in competition with your ass. You know, stop being insecure. Because yeah, we've discussed doing other things on this channel besides just this, you know? Like the McCamey Manor, With the McCain Daniel, Yeah, and now I'm going to yeah. have to do more, like, stuff about PTSD and borderline personality disorder. Yeah. Because there's just so many people that get in the situation like me, and not everybody is strong as me. What you're doing to me could easily push, push somebody else to suicide. And you guys don't even care, you know? And all for what? Because you guys like Tina? I mean... All of you guys ran to us with your I had to eat salad dressing for dinner. She's a scammer and I had to beg people for money. She's a liar. You know, I mean, th that's all that's from you guys. And now you're right back over there rolling in the sheets. Like fucking doing exactly what you were calling her out for. Bullying people. You know, when is enough enough? Like what is y'all's end goal? You know, I mean, Isaac, he might not leave her alone, but she doesn't leave anybody else alone. Mm -hmm. It's like fair play. Yeah. Can I see your lighter, honey? Yeah. Thank you. This, this YouTube stuff gets into a big sinkhole. And that's why you got to dig yourself out and just do other things, you know. Like this weekend in Oregon, right. in Oregon, which is an interesting place, there's a bomb storm coming with 100 mile per hour winds. Oh my goodness. I would love to see a video of that. You probably will. <laughs> I mean, this just, I mean, that was an amazing article I read earlier about the bomb storm that's going to hit Oregon. It's, it was actually called a bomb storm. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> so what else should I say about, you know... Um, Living with PTSD is a bitch. Oops, did I say that on YouTube? <laughs> it is. And, th and this uh, this whole area is about to change because of the COPPA deal. And I've sent you some videos on it showing you what's a, there's going to be. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. You know, there's there's some stuff coming down the line for all of us. And, and I feel like I'm tired of being made fun of for my makeup thing. I mean, Jeff, if I were to lift my chin up, and this is one of my most biggest insecurities, I have... A scar underneath my chin where a man cut me with a razor 
you know, and I've been through some shit and I still go through some shit. I still relive those moments. I still have the nightmares. Um, I have to take a medication that helps me to stop dreaming so I don't have the nightmares. Yeah. And you guys are picking this apart like it's funny and like I deserve it. I've had to it. wake you up from, the, from dreaming before. I've had to wake you yeah, up and I listen to it up. It's okay. You know? Right. I yeah. mean, it's to the point now because they've been bringing this up where I can't even leave my house by myself anymore. I know. But makeup becomes like a hobby, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who has something, you know, whether or not you have PTSD or not or BPD. You know what it is? You have to have something. I can be insecure too, and I'm not embarrassed to say that. Everybody I has have insecure. insecurities. Everybody is insecure to a point. You know, at some point. It's just like anything in, in life. Who ha, You know, who has bigger muscles, who has this. We all have different levels of it. We all have some insecurities to about things. Right. No matter who you are. I just want to be, you know, um, left alone. I want you to be left alone. I want us to be happy. I want these people to move on because they can't be happy. Like, they might be happy for a second thinking, oh, we got one over on them. But what I award are you winning in life? Do, like, what accomplishment know? are you are you gunning for? Like, when I'm out with my kids, I can't be worried about who's saying what or I'm going to respond to this because it makes me... I just, I just can't to do me, it. To me, you know what? I feel like all they're showing is their cards of how fucked up they can be. So other people will see that and be like, okay, well, I don't want that to happen to me. Yeah. You know, if you think that those people in those chats... Like, and, and I've looked at some of the chats when they are going hard on me. Number one, nobody in the chat is talking about me. <laughs> it's a totally different topic. Exactly. You know, There's because a few streams it's just, like it's that. It's like, I think even the people in the chat realize this is so fucking wrong on so many levels. Yeah. And they're all scared that it might be them one day. Especially when we haven't said nothing and did nothing. Right. Like, did nothing except for them trying to set you up for that Twitter account that wasn't yours. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's just like, that's your smoking gun. Oh my fucking God. Tuna, that's not his Twitter. Oh. <laughs> and there's people that know that it's not my Twitter. That are fully aware of but it, it and they didn't prove a point. But to it Tina. Did, nobody told Tuna that. I mean, yeah, that's part of the point too. Nobody I, told I her. I proved that point to Tina because before <laughs> that, I kept saying, "You're letting these people run their agenda on your channel because they know that there's going to be a shit ton of people bullying me, and you're letting them run their own agenda, and they're lying to you to get you fired up so you'll talk shit, and they're lying, and yeah. that's been proven. You guys all know you're liars." Uh, Angela admitted she was lying about eating the salad dressing. Angie, we proved her in all kind of goddamn lies. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, we're supposed to, like, you're supposed to feel good at night, Angie, for what you do to people. Like, how do you sleep at night? Like, I, I, I just, no wonder you're so insecure. Like, be a good person. Shut the fuck up. Come up with some, like, topics that, like, you're passionate about. And stop fucking dragging people. And maybe you will sleep better at night and you won't be so insecure about yourself. It's just sad because I want the people, you know, they're alienating their own audience. You know how many people in that chat probably suffer? I know Nora does. She suffers from PTSD, and, and to sit there and, and them to have to listen to you guys drag me. That or making fun of somebody for being poor. Yeah, making yeah, fun got, of somebody I, for yeah, being poor. I got poor. holes in my shoes. I drive a 1983 pickup truck. My name's Redneck Superman. What the hell do you expect? When I was growing up, we had a wood-burning stove in my house. But we try. I know about eating squirrel for dinner. I mean, I'm proud to be poor. I was raised that way. But when you make fun of people for shopping at a Goodwill, or they ain't got no money, or they got this... You make fun of your own subscribers. You're, that's you what you're are. doing. You're making fun of your own subscribers. You really are. You know, I could go on and on about that being poor. It's just that's the way I was raised. I'm, I was happy I was raised poor. You know? And I'm, you know, if I could take back all the physical attacks that have happened on me, I would. But it's made me who I am. And it's made me really, like, smart and passionate about mental disorders. And, you know, 
not everybody is strong as me. If you guys were doing this to somebody else, this could easily well, push a person to commit suicide. If they knew all the stories, too. I mean, I don't there's want you to lot. tell everything. I'm not going to. Yeah, because I mean, there's, it, a lot. there's a lot more that... It's not, and it's what's not, sad is, a... is Kickstand knows these. I really cared about that man. Like, I told him everything. You know, we were really close. And for him to go and use that against me to continuously hurt me, you know, and I, I have, you know, if he doesn't think I can't come out with stuff on him, he's wrong, but I'm not going to, I'm going to continue to take the high road. Continue. Yeah. For the next few videos, it'd be nothing about this. I don't care what they're saying. You yeah, know, this is gonna, the last time. The only reason I'm addressing it. You want to do the PTSD angle. Is, yeah. For one, it's the holidays. And two, the holidays for me triggers a lot of like PTSD because we remember dates and we we attach negative feelings, positive feelings, everything to these dates. And I've been having a really hard time lately because I've been having to get messages about, oh, they said this about your broken arm and they said this about your this and they said this about your that and it's like... Man, I'm only one person, and, like, why I don't understand the hatred in people that they feel okay with making somebody relive the most horrible moments in their life. I would never do that to somebody. Mm -hmm. Ever. I know you wouldn't. And it just, you know, I want Tina's audience to know, like, get away if you can, because if you don't think that you won't be in the hot seat like me... And then drag you for every horrible thing that's ever happened to you. I mean, they're the ones that came out publicly with, you know, judgment gaming sexual assault. Yeah, you know? They'll, they'll drag you through the mud. They will. They will. Sooner, they'll, put you, they'll set you up or put you in a hot seat. They tried setting me up on Twitter. You know? They... Even though I don't know who part of the Bionic cult. Redneck is, but... He's part of Guest Mob. He's, I'm, he, pretty I'm sure he knows who we are. Right, and I'm pretty sure, like, people in, in Tina's camp knew that that wasn't you, but, like, I proved that point. They lied to her. Oh, I know there's people in her camps that knew that wasn't me. They knew it. I mean, there's, exactly. no, there's no way they didn't know it was But me. they lied to her, and then as soon as she figured out that she was played, she got pissed and started blocking. Because the boss doesn't get played, man. They, she had a block. <laughs> they shouldn't they shouldn't get played. But I mean if you guys think that we can't peep your game, I mean we see the shit y'all do from a mile away. It's so predictable it's not even funny. Mm-hmm. You Snake know? Snake in a box. Snake in a box. <laughs> Five guys in a van. <laughs> <laughs> But we're just going to keep living our life. You know, tomorrow yeah. we're going to have a happy day with our families. And what else are we going to do? We're going to cook. We're going to eat. Make love. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the gym's closed tomorrow. Oh, bummer. Can't That's another thing we've been doing is working out. I think if I take a self-defense class, it's going to help me, like, tremendously, like, overcome some of my PTSD. Yeah. So, you know, we started going to the gym, and you'll probably get a couple videos from us, like, gym life, you know. Yeah. So yeah. that's exciting, you know. So we're we're trying to... We've got a lot of irons in the fire. And plus, you we know, do. Christmas is coming up, and we got... in. After the new year, then things will be popping off more about things we need to and do. Hopefully, because... we can do some more traveling because that was so fun. Oh yeah, it was. I love traveling. I, I love some love of the scenes we've with seen. You. I, I enjoy some of the scenes we've seen. We've seen some great things. And it was amazing. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let some fuckers off the internet, you know, take that away from me and try to drag me to roll around in the mud with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Dumpster fires. Dumpster fires. Train wreck, no, shit show, train wreck, dumpster fires. Yeah. I'm over it. Like, I'm so done. Well, I think it's time we got here. And it'd be... Happy Thanksgiving, Miss Carrie. Um, who all should we shout out? Yeah, give Bliss. Me, give me two whoppers. I'm, I was already pulling through the drive through Hold on a sec. Ray Ray. Um, Big Kiss. Uh, Crystal. Jeepers. Who else should we shout out, baby? We have so many people we know. Just everybody, no if you mercy. know us. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. No mercy. Uh, Gun, Bunny. Who am I forgetting? There's so You'll forget somebody no matter know. what. I'm going to forget all of you <laughs> don't, guys. Don't, you'll forget because there's a list of so long. But y'all have a good Thanksgiving. And this is Redneck and Jamie. And we're out. Ginger. Ginger and Puma Show.
Rawr. Rawr.